Well, we have come to a familiar setting, apparently my uh, character is having a little bit of a dance, for our third round of the Regina Grand Prix. It is the most dangerous road. Three times around this uh, this track, being used a few times with various different vehicles, uh, often uh, to interesting, very chaotic results. Hopefully, hopefully things can go fairly well. We will uh, <laughs> we get underway at two minutes because the way you have to stack up the cars further back have got to wait a little bit before they can uh, before they can go across the first jump we go and a pink car's nearly fallen over i've been attacked ah oh, the camera eating bush <laughs> oh there's been a lot oh it's very narrow sorry pink car i completely forgot about that uh, that checkpoint is the, is the really narrow version that we have had we have here i think there's another one without that stuff it might race the other way around um yeah, it's the very, very narrow version of the dangerous road, and we're trying to <laughs> get everyone sorted out through here. Yeah, oi, cheeky gits. Um, you wait your turn, arsehole. Yeah, you see, now you've just got to mess it up for everyone, haven't you, Bumblebee? Uh, okay, yeah, we're on the uh, we're on the very narrow one. There's also the explodey, explodey rockets down here that has apparently killed somebody. Uh, we're in eighth position. We're in eighth place, and that could be could be worse. Again, there is time. There is time to uh, make your way forward. There are likely to be mistakes. This road, it's so named a dangerous road because it is the slipperiest road, very, very narrow, and we're in cars. Let's not forget, it proved to be horrendously oversteery already, so it's probably not going to take very much for people to get into trouble. I did remember about the arsehole bench there. <laughs> this was in the days of Reese making the, the narrowest of uh, nasty maps. Oh, there we go. We're fine. We're fine. We caused a little roadblock on our... Well, not even our fault. Someone ahead of us caused a little roadblock. Um, we've made our way through all of this. Again, think championship points. We need to continue to score. We need to continue... Well, we need to continue to score well. It would be kind of entertaining if I could manage to win a championship having never actually won a race. It, it would be very doable. And in a championship like this, where just about everything and anything can happen at all possible times, um, yeah, I reckon it may well be doable. But that does mean that you need to continue to score good points throughout. Oh, this is the one that spits us into the water, isn't it? The Regina water crossing is a go. And uh, is not really a strong suit of these cars. In fact, the car ahead of me did a really good job. Oh, there is so much dust and smoke being kicked. I think mostly dust. Might be engine smoke from these cars as they're struggling to get up the hill. There's a lot of dust being kicked up through there. I'm surprised the frame rate did as well as it did, quite frankly. Uh, GTA has not been the happiest of games server-wise this evening. Although it is now, again, don't say anything, but it is now behaving itself a little bit. The white car's gone for a uh, scenery trip. That's the horrible, horrible horrible corner so easy to get caught out there uh, we have driven the dangerous road a few times now i think most people are aware of just how dastardly that particular corner is i'm trying to make sure i don't want to put the car ahead of me round. i want to get i want to get an overtake done legitimately if you want to bounce across the rocks mate go for it uh, that is a real surefire way of getting yourself in trouble i am not going to be taking that line annoyingly it's compromised me because we couldn't get up the hill very quickly to try and chase after a podium spot or any higher positionings uh, around the tire bundles we go it's all about risk versus reward this race you can try and drive the cars very quickly down this road but one small misstep and you're off into the abyss you'll have a reset a uh, costly costly reset and again just brushing a tire bundle can cause you huge problems so you've got to be very very mindful of all of these things i'm glad i've found a car to race with at least that makes things a little bit more interesting for me it's a great time trialing road this uh, it's a brilliant time trialing road oh someone's had a roll up ahead oh he's had an assist as well hopefully he got the checkpoint before he got an assist there uh, <laughs> yeah it's a great time trialing time trialing road oh he's had <laughs> that was very very cinematic-esque Gave a tap to the car, fell off the cliff, and ended up upside down on the lower part of the road. You couldn't do that if you tried. Um, right. Oh, we're going to give you a little bit of a bump. That was a big slowdown from the car ahead. We are up into fifth place. As I said, consistency. Don't make any mistakes. Don't. I've done it again. I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll get you out of that one there. I won't overtake you for that. Um, <laughs> I, I'm apparently the master at making Regina's 
wheelie by landing on the rear bumper just enough to send them up into the air. I do apologise for that one. Uh, we're not going to fight our way through. Uh, we're not going to try and go too wide through here. In fact, we're not going to go one wide through it. It's <laughs> You're much better off really backing the car up to uh, make sure you get through there cleanly than you are to try and fly through it with any speed. It's Again, it's okay once we're this spread out. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. I will take that position from you. Just be mindful of the spinning car. Oh, someone's got a reset. And we are up into a podium position. Now, let's not do anything stupid. So far, I've done what I wanted to do. We got we got away with all the mess at the start. We got held up a little bit in traffic. Oh, Reese has been Reese. I can actually see the leader. I can spy the leader. Come on, Reese, get a move on. I've got much more momentum coming up this hill than you do. Oh, although that was a really big risky maneuver. Let's not do that. Think of the championship. Think of the championship. We're leading the way. I don't know who's leading the race. Not my not the guy that I'm tied with the championship lead for. Reese is going for the spectacular, and I'll give you. Bonus, bo bonus credit for trying, but it's going to get no points for the big spectacular airtime. You can gain a little bit of time by doing that, if I think, if you get it perfect with the landing. But uh, as you can see, Reese did not get it perfect with the landing there. The leader has pulled away. I say pulled away a little bit. I think just... Uh, uh, kind of the, the distance doesn't always necessarily look quite so terrible on some parts of this track. Other parts, it uh, becomes, yeah, considerably considerably more impressive. Uh, Reese has uh, he's dropped back to fourth, but he is still just about within visual, visual range. Now, let's not do anything stupid on the way down. Ooh, is that the leader I spy? Is that the leader? I don't think it would be a lap down car just yet. Uh, oh, uh, was saying I was seven seconds behind the leader. No, I think that is first place. Now, down here, I've got a uh, third is very keen for me to get a move on, but you can't really do anything at this point. You've just got to sit there and, and wait if the car ahead is not quite going as quick as you want them to. Because, yeah, you, can't, you can overtake. I, I say you can't. You can. It's very tough to. Very, very tough to overtake down this uh, this part. We have seen it done. But you've got to be, A, very, very brave. You've got to have a lot of understanding and a lot of luck as well. Like, there is a lot of luck involved in getting a pass done down these uh, very, very narrow bits. Now, I'm continuing to play this a little bit on the safe side. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm continuing to play this more on the edge, on the other side of caution. I will take third here rather than push for the win and take seventh. At this, the situation that I'm in. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I know what the thumbnail image is going to be now. That was amazing, and the first has got over. He's recovered it well held, sir. Well held indeed. That was a brilliant recovery to uh, keep that in the lead, but I am now right here, and I have got no pressure from a car behind. I'm just going to put the leader under as much pressure as I can. Keep the nose of my car right there behind him try and force him into a mistake if we can. If I spot an opportunity, go for it, of course. But opportunities are few and far between them around here. As long as I can be in and amongst the uh, the positionings for it, then uh, that's going to be the, the critical, critical thing. This has been a really, really good race. It's been a really good race, both for me and just as a spectacle. This has been a brilliant, dangerous road race. Now, is he going to travel through here? Oh, he did it. Did it cleanly. Uh, I backed it off a little bit because I wasn't sure if he was going to get stuck. And I've lost a little bit of a ground to him. I think it may have just ever so slightly lagged backwards and then got pinged forwards. With the rubber banding lag that can go on on the GTA, um, I'm okay to deal with that as a uh, scenario and with that as an outcome as well. We're up onto two wheels. I'm amazed with these things. Oh, God, we both uh, braked ourselves. I'm going to wait because, I again, I could have I got that pass done there, but uh, I was too late on the brakes and I very nearly fired him into the water. So <laughs> that's uh, unsportsmanlike conduct ever so slightly. So we will... Uh, we will, uh, yeah, we will resume our battle. You know, after such a brilliant race, if I'm going to get the win, I want it to be done from a pure legitimate overtake from this incredible comeback. Someone's, uh, <laughs> thank you very much to the back marker who uh, saw us coming and got out of the way so as to not compromise the uh, leaders of the race. Oh, it's a big roll for the leader. I will take that one. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Pressurize 
the car in front into making a mistake. I actually got greedier on that rock. I saw the line that the leader was taking. I wanted some of that. I wanted some of that speed, and uh, I got greedy as well. We got airtime, but we didn't go for a roll. I'm amazed he has still stayed as close as that. Again, another very, very quick recovery from the uh, palescent car there as we now head on to the narrow bit. The thing is, that was the... Um, one of the wider parts of the track, one of the best overtaking spots for, for something, and he's fallen back slightly through the water splash. So, good news for me here. Good news for me. I've methodically worked my way up through the order. Now, don't throw it away. I have braked very early through here, but I know how easy it is to go soaring off of the cliff. Also wanted to make sure that uh, if I got a shot from behind from him out braking himself, trying to push it a little bit too much to catch me, I had time to grab the brakes again and make sure, doubly, triply make sure that I don't fall off the cliff. As, again, as I said, while I very much want to win here at the dangerous road, if I have to give up the win, I'd much rather take second than fight into oblivion and end up fifth. You know, ch championship points are very, very, very important. Uh, I say very, very important. We're racing Regina's around silly circuits. However, in the, for the context of this video, <laughs> getting winning the Regina Grand Prix is the uh, is the aim, and to do so, we need to pick up as many points across all four events as possible. Uh, we have got still got a little bit of a safety margin as well, which is what I want to see uh, as i say that he has closed up again i'm happy to play this a little bit cautious don't run the bankings i don't need to take that risk as i say that we've run very wide there and uh, almost got into trouble on my own but we are still okay as we head down the hill for the final final time cover that inside he's gonna try it but there are rocks there you just park your car so that they can't oh, draw alongside quite so much through the very very narrow rocks i think he pushed it and clipped a rock towards the end there it will be victory for the orange regina that's a brilliant brilliant race i thoroughly enjoyed that one uh, not just because i came through to uh, take a victory but uh, on the whole it was a great race it was it was really just follow the cars ahead pressurize them and don't make a mistake yourself it's just such the critical part in uh, in all of this. Reese, oh, as we've got <laughs> Pink Regina down. I think Reese has claimed a third place. Reese always does tend to do very, very well at uh, the Dangerous Road, if I remember correctly. Uh, have we got any close on, on track action going on at the moment? You do tend to find cars get a little bit more spread out around here as you might expect even after I mean, the mess at the the, the, well, the potential mess if everyone behaves themselves it's okay at the start um oh we're gonna have yep an, <laughs> an on track oh that was a great time to uh tune in to watch that one one of the cars ahead of them has just had a spin as well oh into the rock face trying to carry that bit more speed a little, little bit too much speed coming down the uh, coming down the hill there. I think we've got up to seventh place has uh, finished so far. Ah, we're gonna have a big a big slide from the Regina. It can be surprisingly graceful through the corners. Sometimes, very rarely, sometimes through the corners is this car. He's got a mega run, but he's gonna bounce off all of that. That wasn't surprisingly graceful. Oh, and the tree as well for good measure. <laughs> I see what he was trying to do. You go, know, you carry as much speed as you can down there uh, in the hope. You saw the cars up ahead were slowing. You, you might be able to. It's worth it's worth a gamble when there's no one directly behind you. It's worth going for it. Well, a first, a second, and a sixth or something, and the. Mobile Regina edition I'm stuck in a tree. Not going well for that car. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not having a good time. Not having a good time at all. Well, that's going to put me in well, the lead of the championship going into the final round. Pressure is very much on. I will have a little bit of a points cushion, though, which is always helpful. So, the uh, championship table, and in fact I have a fairly hefty points cushion in all of this. Nine points clear at the top. Very, very close for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Even sixth and seventh, or sixth's not that far down. Seventh a little bit, a little bit further back. A solid points finish is what I need. It's what I need for this final round. Unfortunately, this is where GTA 5 would let us down. You see, for the final race 
of the Regina Grand Prix, it wasn't actually letting us pick the right cars. Now, the race track was one we initially raced camper vans around. However, while well, despite saying that we were supposed to be racing in sedans in the lobby, when we got into the game, it forced us to go into the vans, into the category that the race was initially designed for. And it would have been okay if we'd all been given journeys. However, some people were forced to run custom cars. Those that didn't have a custom van, a lot of us, were given journeys. It just didn't... It didn't really work. Yeah, this was the mess that was the start of the race. It's a shame. And of course, being the final race in a playlist, we'd have to restart the entire thing to go. It was already getting late in the evening. Uh, so, yeah, things didn't quite go uh, according to plan in the fourth and final round. It, we've decided to just completely discount it and have the Regina Grand Prix, sadly, one race shorter. We had a lot of issues, actually, with GTA V trying to get races to have us run in a specific car it often has some real real issues various workaround fixes and oddness we've had to do to get the game to spawn us in the required vehicles and yeah it, it held for three races it was fine unfortunately yeah four things went a little bit skew with However, after, well, the first three rounds that uh, will be the Regina Cup that does mean that I am king of the Reginas I will take victory <laughs> in this Regina Grand Prix. Had a lot of good fun racing with these uh, rather rather slow, surprisingly oversteery vehicles. It was yeah, a lot of fun. It was it was a lot of fun doing uh, doing racing in this style. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and it's certainly certainly something that uh, we may well go back to with some with some different cars if people find it entertaining or different cars different tracks crazy tracks some maybe more normal circuits make for an interesting kind of mini little uh, little championship that though is going to be it from me thank you very much for watching and until next time uh, goodbye